what the fudge is up. It's dizzy. Just tripped over something. And today I am going to give you a quick tutorial on how to do my feed in rainbow braids. I clearly don't have any makeup on and I'll show you why I'm doing feed in braids. Because of gardening. That's why. I'll show you this big ass hole I've built. Well, built, dug, whatever. You know, same difference. Whatever. So yeah, here are my feed in braids. Let me give you a tour of the hole. So right now, the um, hole is more of a swamp. It's supposed to be for a above ground, half below gardening slash hobbit hole. Haven't quite decided. I just started digging holes. I wasn't sure what to do with it. Building character, you know. Gotta keep those kids in check. Yeah, I got a pretty big hole here. And in order to keep my hair nice and neat and out of the way, and so it doesn't get muddy or I have to frequently wash it um, from sweat, this is how I keep my hair nice and neat. So real quick, before I head inside to unbraid this and rebraid it to show you what it's like, um, I will show you what the back looks like. Yes! Oh, girl. Yes. All right, all right, all right. Let's get this popping. All right, so what I'm doing is I'm taking my plastic Krylon hair slash whatever it's called. Um, your plastic hair, your plastic braiding hair. And you're going to separate it into thin sections. Check out my pimples, waving hello. Obviously, do not put on makeup for this because I'm about to go outside. Here I am just taking them into smaller sections and dividing them up. Oh, hey, girl. A little nasty. Let me see. I got the hair hanging out my mouth. I'm going to use that here in a minute to create tension. So what I'm doing is I'm taking a small triangular section and dividing it into three smaller sections. And I'm going under. Don't go over. Go under. Because if you go over, that's a French braid, not a Dutch braid. What we're doing is feeding Dutch braids. You feel me? Anyway, so here I come. Let's do this. Take the hair, pull some tension, pull it tight, girl. Just get some spit on, spit on it a little bit. Get the stick. There we go. With in in reality, though, I'll be using um, not spit. I'll be using edge control or some kind of gel-like substance. I'm at my house in quarantine, so right now, use what you got. I'm a guy for this. Thank you, Amazon, for also delivering on a decent amount of time. Here we go again, adding some hair from the bottom part, and we are continuing to go under. Make sure you continue to pull through because it will tangle. The plastic hair is extremely textured, so it will tangle hella bunches. I'm picking up some more hair, picking up what I'm dropping. You feel me? Don't mind my little dusties in my hair. I haven't washed my hair in like two weeks. Trust and believe, try to maintain that color. Holla! If you look real close, you can tell where I'm adding the hair. See, look, add to that little finger, nip, tuck, hold it in the mouth with some tension, add it to the hair from underneath, pull from the other side, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Grab and pull. That's all it is. Grab and pull. If you know how to Dutch braid, girl, you know how to do a feed and braid. That's all it is. Just wash and learn. Just go all the way down and continue braiding. Easy peasy. People really be overcomplicating it, but really, it's super easy. It's a normal braid, just add a little bit of hair.
Continue braiding until you get all the way to the fine hairs as much as you can. This will hold your braid in place without having to have any rubber bands or hair ties. Generally, if you're using plastic hair, you're supposed to take super high heat to the very bottom so you can either melt them or you can dip it into some like boiling hot water to seal the ends. But since I reuse these ends or reuse this hair to braid my hair over and over with, um, I just tie it in a knot that I can take out in the bottom. See? Or if it gets too tight, I just cut it off. And there we have it. Super easy peasy. Feed in Dutch rainbow braids. Fabulous! So that's what's up. If you like to watch me do my hair or do fun things to my hair, be sure to give me a shout out on Instagram or Facebook, Stizzy G, or at Steffi Amaria on Instagram. Holla at your girl. Peace.